in space from the distant planet of Triglyceride 7, they came to Earth. They came here with one purpose in mind, because frankly, they can only think of one thing at a time. Their mission on this planet, to assist in the quest for truth, justice, and a better quality cat food without the fishy aftertaste. And who might these visitors from another galaxy be? I'll tell you. They're a breed of extraterrestrial feline crime fighters known to the world as space cats. Stationed in a hidden location deep beneath the Earth's surface is the space cat's secret headquarters. Its location is so secret that even the space cats don't know where they are. It is here that they monitor the world above, utilizing the latest space age technology and watching cable TV. Their highly evolved senses and exceptional hygiene make them the perfect crime fighting force. The space cats motto is we always get the bad guys, or not. Diligent, alert, and hardworking, the Space Cats are always on the job, except for Tuesdays and certain bank holidays. Led by Captain Catgut, their commander and softball coach, the Space Cats wait to receive the orders that will affect the lives of everyone on this planet. Orders sent to them from their home planet by an alien game show host, the Great Dork, the disembodied omnipotent ruler of cats. Join us now as the Space Cats prepare to receive their latest mission. As a Space Cat Captain, I have to make many decisions. Decisions that affect the lives of every one of my cats. All right, as your leader, I am about to give you an order that is very difficult for me to make. It requires much thought. If I make the wrong choice, it could be disastrous. All right, I've decided. Order three large pizzas, one tuna, and two regulars with extra liver. And napkins! Get extra napkins this time! Whoa! 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 Incoming orders, everyone! Hold on! Look busy! I'm coming! Good day, Captain Catcut. Good day, Dork. Everything well? Yes, sir. I was just giving some important orders. Oh, good, good. <laughs> Something wrong, sir? Uh, do you notice anything different about me? Did you shave your mustache, sir? No, you idiot. I never had a mustache. Something's different. Beard. You shaved your beard. No, my hat. You shaved your hat? I am wearing a hat, stupid. Can't you see that? I have a hat. See the hat on my head? I have a hat. Oh, right. You like it? It's very nice, sir. It makes your head look ten pounds thinner. I went clothes shopping today. You know, it's very difficult being a disembodied head. 
Oh, I imagine it's hard to find a suit in your size. Well, I'm very limited in what I can wear. Basic earmuffs, glasses, maybe a nose warmer. That's about it. Oh. I like the hat. You like the color? Oh, yes, sir. It brings out the green in your complexion. Very attractive. Thank you, Captain. I appreciate your honesty. Don't mention it. Let's get down to the mission I have for you. Watch the screen. There have been lots of reports recently of beautiful people mysteriously turning ugly. And it's not just limited to beauty content. It's happening all over the country. Good-looking people just seem to turn ugly before your eyes. Yikes! Yikes indeed, Captain. This is serious stuff. Those people are double bagger. Well, do you have any other information? No. We thought it might be linked to the Paper Bag Manufacturers Association, but it's not. Well, whatever it is, sir, the Space Cats will investigate this ugly situation. Good. And remember, if any of the Space Cat agents are caught or impounded, don't call me. Oh, I'll be out having my hat locked. You should have your head blocked, too. What a dork. Captain Catgut quickly summoned his crack Space Cat team to investigate this ugly, and I mean ugly, situation. The mission will be led by Tom, an expert in microbiology, microphysics, and microwaving. Assisting Tom is that awesome twosome, Scratch and Sniff. Scratch comes from a long line of Space Cat agents, all of whom specialize in disguises. Here they are shown at a recent family reunion. Next, there's Sniff, a superhero and part-time rodeo clown. Sniff can skillfully calculate and maneuver to achieve any goal. Also assisting in today's mission is the multi-talented space cat, Yvette Meow. Yvette's incredible beauty is only surpassed by her sharp feline claws, which can slice through cold steel or cold cuts. They're courageous, they're gallant, they're on TV, they're the... The Space Cats arrived in Beverly Hills, California, where the beautiful people work, play, and eat trendy foods. Um, has anyone seen these Space Cats? Hey, keep it down. We're working undercover. Wow! Look at all the fancy cars and rich people. Yeah, yeah, why don't we get to eat some of that trendy food? Not until the mission is over. Keep it down, fellas. We gotta keep a low profile. These tourist disguises will help us blend in. Easy for you to say. You're not the one wearing a grass skirt. Hey, it's all we had left. Besides, it's your size. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I'm allergic to grass. <laughs> Oops, sorry. The Space Cat soon stumbled upon Casa Di Fortino. Oh. The world's most exclusive beauty salon. It's Casa Di Fortino, the world's most exclusive salon. Exclusive indeed. This place only admits truly glamorous women. Did you see that? I can't believe it! Neither can I! Imagine $300 for a pair of shoes! We were talking about the beauty salon. Gorgeous women are coming out of it ugly. Seems suspicious to me. We have to investigate. Pronto. But we can't just walk in there. Uh-uh. Leave it to me. Wait here. Can I borrow your credit card? I beg your pardon. Where do you think you're going? It's okay. We're tourists. We're on a mission. Do you have an appointment? Mm -hmm. Perhaps this will make my appointment. A bottle cap? 
It's a collector's item. Yeah, it once belonged to Elvis. <laughs> Why, that's none other than the super duper megastar, Lollipop! <laughs> Are you here to make me even more beautiful than I already is? Ah, M. Whatever. We gotta check this place out. I are ready for my beauty treatment. Hello. I'll be right with you, sweetie. Little did Lollipop know that the evil Dementia D. Fortino was behind the evil plot to turn the world's most beautiful women into... hags. My ugly formula will turn Lollipop from a beauty to a beastie. What a pity. I can't wait. My dear little Lollipop, you won't know what hit you. were stunned by what they witnessed. I'm stunned. Stunned, I'll say. What can I say? I'm stunned. Oh, such pretty colors. Soon, I, Dementia Di Fortino, will be that much closer to being the most beautiful woman in the world. We've got to find out what Dementia's really up to. I'd say she wants everyone else to look ugly so she can be more beautiful. How do you know that? Just a hunch. And so, as the Earth opens up and the space caps teeter on the brink of... Oops, wrong episode. Ah, here we are. Will the space cats save Lollipop from becoming one of Dementia's ugly victims? We'll find out when we return. When we last left our heroes, Dementia was about to give Lollipop an extremely suspicious-looking drink. Yes, sweetie. Perhaps you'd enjoy this refreshing treat. Tasty. I hope it's decaf. Incredible! It would seem that the space cats have blown their cover. Well, guys, you heard him. We might as well quit this case. Dementia? Ha, we were mistaken. We've lost our touch. Yep, our Teresa. <laughs> Over. But in fact, the space cats had not given up. They were already planning the next move. Dementia's obviously behind this ugly business, but we have no proof. Hey, I have a great plan! This is so demeaning, having to impersonate a common Earth cat. Hey, we have no choice. Dementia's on to us, but she'll never suspect you. Scratch, did you find a microphone yet? Here it is. Now remember, your collar contains a hidden microphone. You have to get close enough to dementia so we can hear everything and record it. <laughs> Good luck. Meow, 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 meow. I really hate this. Meow. Can't you see I'm closed? Oh, what a precious kitty. Meow. Poor little kitty. You must be hungry. Let's go. Some milk. Please. Meow! Meow! While Yvette carried out her mission, Tom, Scratch, and Sniff waited patiently to tape Dementia's confession. Hey, what's the seven-letter word that means speak softly? Whisper. What's the seven-letter word that means speak softly? I close the shop to everyone but you. 
I'll buy you real diamonds, sweetie. Operator, this is an emergency. Please get me 555. Five, five. Meow. Meow. I should have suspected. You're not a cat. You're a space cat. You'll regret the day you tangled with me. Uh-oh, the jig's up. You mean the gig's up? No, a gig is a job. No, I thought that was a gag. No, a gag is a thing they put over someone's mouth so they can't talk. That's not a bad idea. Excuse me, but while you fellows are debating, Dementia is escaping with Yvette as her prisoner! Yvette, prisoner? Gag! Where is Dementia taking Yvette? And for what evil purpose? Can the space cat stop her before it's too late? Stay tuned! We left our heroes in close pursuit of Dementia, who had discovered Yvette's true identity as an... <laughs> well, you know the rest. I hope you're comfy. When I pull this lever, you'll be on your way to that vat of oil do Valdez. You don't have the nerve to pull that lever. No, I was wrong. Sue me. Can the space cat save Yvette from being dipped in oil? And will I ever stop putting everything in the form of a question? We've got to figure out a way to get over this bed. Quick, the catapult. I hate this thing. Now you know why they call it a catapult. Wouldn't you know it? An interruption, just when I'm having fun. Food and Drug Administration. What on earth would you want with me? We have reason to believe your cosmetics contain dangerous ingredients. Absolutely ridiculous. All of my products are 100% natural, just like the color of my hair. Funny, you remind me of someone I know. He belonged to the... Space <laughs> Jazz! Ah, what an unexpected surprise. I have another surprise. I picked this up at your salon. Ah, my antidote! I must get to my antidote! 
Charles? Desperate, dementia rushes to retrieve the secret antidote. She tries to elude the pursuing Tom scratch and sniff, not realizing that Yvette, tired of hanging around, was once again ready for space cat action. Uh -huh. Wow, quick thinking, Yvette. I've fallen and I can't get up. Give it back. I don't want to be ugly. Don't worry. That bottle did not contain oil Duval D. It was the only way to get you to reveal where the antidote was hidden. But how will we figure out the ingredients? She'll never tell us. <laughs> She's got the ingredients right on the label. Of course I do. That's the law. And so beauty was restored in the world. The salon is under new ownership now. Mr. Randy, the former doorman, took over the salon. <laughs> Once again, the space cats have emerged triumphant. I'm triumphant. Triumphant, I'll say. What can I say? I'm triumphant. I am beautiful again. How does I thank you for this? No thanks necessary, ma'am. That's right. It's all part of the job. We're the... Space cats! Now for our Space Cats words of wisdom. Kids, it's important to stay well-groomed. Washing your hair every day will cut down on those pesky fur balls. Yeah. Until next time, we remain the... Space Cats! smarter than the average bear. It's Yo Yogi, coming up next, right here on NBC's Saturday Morning of Fun-Filled Cartoons.